Hi, I'm going to show you my version of tomato sauce. It can be used for your pasta dishes, coating chicken, lots of different things really like that, but, but a few little extra ingredients. So first of all, you get an onion, medium onion is fine, chop that up. Clove or two of garlic, depending on how much you like it, let's get that nice and finely chopped and let's go. Okay, decent olive oil. First of all, about a tablespoon or so of oil on there, good medium heat. Now, we don't want to burn the onions, we do, definitely don't want to crisp them up, so let's get them nice and golden. So they go in the pan first. Okay, let's give those a little stir, let's give them a coat. That's going to probably take you about five minutes. Whatever you do, don't burn them. Okay, garlic. That goes in towards the end of the uh, golden process because they'll burn too quickly if you put them in the same time. So they always go in a little bit after the onions. So let's get those a good stir. Let's get them round. You wait till they're a nice golden colour. Okay, the nice mid-range tomatoes. Chopped ones. Otherwise all you've got to do is just chop them yourself. You just want to use the chopped ones. So let's get those in. Give those a good stir. Happy days. Now, a lot of people will finish there. This is where we're going just a tad further. Balsamic. You don't need a lot of balsamic, so we're talking about half a, t half a teaspoon. Just a little splash. Let's get those stirred in. Happy days. Got to go in early because we must cook that flavour off. Okay, the next thing, now what I like to do is use a stock cube. Again, the gel stock cubes. You can use a half one or a whole one. We're going to put a whole one in today because we're going to make quite a good amount of it. But if it's only for one of you, just, just use half of one. It saves the other half in the fridge, but clean the film's perfect. Let's get that in. That will melt down lovely in the heat. Okay. When you're using tomatoes, always use sugar. I always do. It's, it just takes away that real sharp time. So you put in a small amount. You can always add. You can't take it back out easily. So we're going to go for about a half a teaspoon. So let's get that in. Next thing, good ground pepper. Okay, tomato sauce, it sounds daft, just a little squeeze. That'll do, not too much, it'll just be far too vinegary. Okay, let's give that a stir. It's bubbling away nicely now. I always put some basil in now and then we put it in at the end. So pinch them off, tear it into pieces, drop that in. Happy days. Right, we'll put salt in at the end if we need it. We'll see how it goes. Now we need to put that on there for a slow simmer, to a bubble to a simmer for half an hour to an hour. The longer the better really. It will change its colour and it will change its taste. If anything, get a teaspoon, have a little try now and then try it in half an hour. You'll tell the taste. See you in half an hour. Okay. That's been about half an hour, just over now. So we're getting to the very final stages now. Now, don't forget to taste it in that half an hour, especially towards the end, just to make sure if it needs any salt or sugar. This tastes fine at the moment. I'm just going to put a final little knob of butter into there. That'll give it just a little bit of a glaze and just that final little taste. So give that a stir in. And we'll pick off some basil. Just pinch it out so we keep shooting it up on the windowsill. Tear those off, get those in. A nice good stir. Now, okay, we're near enough there. This is what it should look like. Good. But the question is, how does it taste? This is what I do when I want to answer that question. No, no, not the knife sharpening this time, my dear. It's the taste test. Marvellous. There you go. Let's hope yours tastes just as good. I hope you enjoy this. It's informational. See you again next time. Bye-bye.